and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm with uh, Martijn, you all know Martijn, but I'm also with uh, Mark Vira. Yeah. Mark is a big fan of the channel, so it's a Starscaper fan club day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah we hope we can photograph uh, the Milky Way uh, while it's uh, still uh, astro darkness now. Uh, it will last only for about a week until we go into the grey nights for two weeks. So uh, let's see how that goes. now come uh, to a dead tree. I think it's the most photographed dead tree uh, under the Milky Way in whole Netherlands. But uh, yeah, I can see why, because it's a beautiful dead tree and it's also one of the darker spots here in the Netherlands. Um, Mark is uh, trying his tracker for the first time. So uh, yeah, how is it going? Let's see how that goes. <laughs> yeah, see how that goes indeed. Trying to polar align right now, but... Yeah, I will help him later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He will be fine. And uh, Martijn, how are you going? Fine, just setting up. So uh, Setting up. I'm okay. getting more and more familiar with it. Speci <laughs> specific plans? Not yet, not yet. For sure the, the tree will be one of the foregrounds, yeah. but uh, I'm still doubting on, uh, on which stacks I will shoot. So, uh, I see. Okay, yeah, same for me. It was a very last minute plan. Uh, we decided in about 10 minutes, hey, should we go here? So yeah, uh, then Martijn uh, came to pick me up and we just went. So we uh, are just going with the flow and uh, it's crystal clear. Should be good. <laughs> It's a bit small place here, so uh, we were just discussing where we could stand relative to each other so that the Milky Way wouldn't be passing over the heads of, uh, of uh, the other guys. So uh, yeah, I think we are now, uh, we have to, we've chosen our positions and uh, we're now going to set up the tracker as the last of us three. So there we were again, immersing ourselves in the beauty of the night sky. Far away from city lights we begin to relax under the canopy of stars, patiently awaiting the rise of our galactic core. During our shoot we suddenly notice a bright object moving through the sky. The International Space Station is now uh, passing over. Super bright. It's going so fast as well. Yeah, really fast. For us on this night, the ISS streaking through our composition was a pretty pleasant and unexpected bonus. However, you can plan to photograph the ISS pretty easily. Uh, what I would do, I would, uh, for example, just go to uh, a website called Clear Outside, uh, which I use normally for the weather, but it also shows when the ISS will pass over. So uh, for this evening, I am recording at the moment, uh, it will pass over three times, and most of the evenings the ISS will have multiple passovers in one night evening. Even. Um, so let's see close to dark we see the ISS passing here uh, starting at the west and uh, going through the south and it goes below uh, the horizon or in Earth's shadow uh, in the east. We also see the magnitude uh, this time it will be pretty bright at a magnitude of minus 3.4 so it will be close to the brightness for uh, of planets uh, for example Venus so that's pretty bright and what I would do then I will just check a uh, stellarium uh, and go to the west and set the time somewhere around uh, 0 025 where it would begin to enter uh, the frame and you can see here the ISS uh, or it's a call sign is Zarya named after the first uh, part uh, which was launched uh, into orbit um, and yeah we can see the ISS uh, passing through here we can also see where the where it will be at the brightest which will probably be somewhere around here around the zenith and you can just check uh, if something would line up well with your composition and if you expose for a longer time um, you will notice that your that the ISS will of course not be a dot but a streak in your image showing movement which is pretty cool 
Um, there are of course also other uh, sources to check uh, when the ISS will pass by, um, for example the website Heavens Above, and there are also multiple uh, apps available for uh, Android and uh, Apple, for example ISS Detector. Alright, let's uh, go back uh, to the evening and see how we do shooting the Milky Way. We uh, have just finished uh, our sky exposures. Mark's uh, first time uh, with a Star Trekker. How did it go? Well, pretty well. I, w I bought it two months ago. I've been waiting two months to finally use it. <laughs> I tried some two, two months exposures. because because it's always cloudy. Yeah, yeah. always cloudy. <laughs> I need to move to another country. <laughs> <laughs> But I yeah. tried two minute uh, exposures, mm -hmm. uh, ISO 800, F 2.8. Yeah. Oh, it looks pretty good. I also captured the uh, International Space Station. So yeah, yeah. Sh show us on the uh, screen. It's, it's, it's really bizarre. He is using a 14 millimeters. Yeah. And check it out. Yeah, first one. Second one. Nice. Straight yeah. through the Milky Way. <laughs> yeah. Super cool. Besides the galactic core, I also found a pretty good composition with the Cygnus region of the Milky Way. So after I did some quick test exposures at a high ISO and a short shutter speed, I turned on my tracker, increased my shutter speed and you guessed it, I forgot to lower my ISO. So after a half an hour I noticed that I could throw everything in the bin. Fortunately my sky shots of the galactic core turned out pretty well. But to complete that shot we first had to shoot the tree. We are now um, shooting, uh, shooting the tree, it lines up perfectly with the Milky Way. Um, the only problem is it's so dark here that uh, we probably need to light paint it a bit, so uh, that's what we are going to do now. To the other side. <laughs> Alright, so uh, it's uh, beginning to get light now, uh, but I think we had a really successful night. Uh, the clouds uh, stayed away. <laughs> it was a pretty dark spot, uh, a pretty cool foreground also with the uh, famous dead tree. Uh, I only shot one foreground, but uh, yeah, I've had a really relaxed evening. Uh, we saw Martijn uh, running around a bit. Uh, what, what have you done? Uh, it's always stress, right? For you, you yeah, also think, for me. Yeah, we always <laughs> think you have more time than, uh, yep. than anticipated. but. Uh, I managed to get two shots, so one of sickness yeah, and nice. one of the core. So Excellent. I'm very happy. All right, and then let's check Mark, uh, who used the Star Tracker for the first time. Yeah, I used the Star Tracker for the first time. I'm really happy with the exposures I made. I think yeah. the end result will be good as well. And I, I only shot the dead tree in the foreground as well. Yeah, same for me, but the dead, dead tree is really good and yeah. his uh, sky shots looked yeah. spectacular on the back yeah. uh, of and the camera. And it was also cool, the, the International Space Station yeah. flew over. Straight through the frame. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I think we all have some good shots. Uh, if we did, here are the shots. Thank you guys uh, for watching again and see you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>